Next, we're gonna do the in-cab vehicle inspection. We're gonna start with our seat belt. We wanna make sure that it fits snugly around you, it latches securely, there's no cuts or abrasions and frays in the seat belt. From there, we're gonna to go to our mirrors to make sure that they're clean and adjusted properly and secure to our windshield to make sure there's no cracks in the windshield and no obstructions. And we also wanna check our side windows to make sure that they're clean and they've sealed properly and there's no stickers or anything like that on there. And we'll go all the way across and check the passenger side the same. From there, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a safe start. We're gonna make sure the vehicle's in neutral. I'm gonna push the clutch in. I'm gonna turn the key to the on position. When I do this, the ABS light should come on and turn off to show that it's working properly. Once the truck's ready, I'll go ahead and start it. Within a few seconds of starting the vehicle, I'm gonna let the clutch out slowly, it's in neutral. I wanna check my oil pressure to make sure that it comes up to proper pressure. I'm gonna check my water temperature. I'm gonna check my voltmeter. And I'm gonna check my air gauges that they're working properly. From there, I'm gonna check my defroster to make sure my heater works. From there, I'm gonna make sure that my horn works and my air horn, which this truck is right here. From there, I'm gonna inspect my fire extinguisher, my triangles, and my spare fuses are in the dash. I'm gonna make sure that the fire extinguisher is in the green. I'm also gonna make sure to check my left turn signal is working on the dash, my right turn signal, my hazard lights, and the high beam indicator. We're also gonna check our windshield wipers. We wanna make sure that they work properly and, they sp and the fluid sprays. Next, we're gonna do the brake test. We're gonna start with the tug test. I'm gonna make sure the vehicle's in neutral, push the clutch in. I'm gonna release the truck brake, put it in low gear. I'm gonna pull against the trailer brake to make sure the brakes are working properly which they are. I'm gonna put it in neutral, set the truck brake, release the trailer brake, put it back in low gear, make sure that the truck brakes hold, which it does. Back in neutral, I'm gonna set both brakes. Now we're gonna do the service brake test. I'll make sure I'm in neutral, push in the clutch, release both brakes, put it in low gear, hands off the steering wheel. I'm gonna pull forward at a slow rate of speed, and then I'm gonna slowly stop the vehicle and make sure that it doesn't pull to one side or the other, which would indicate a brake problem. Next, we're gonna do the air brake test. I'm gonna push the clutch in, I'm gonna put it in low gear, I'm gonna shut the truck off. Then I'm gonna turn the key to the on position. I'm gonna let my foot off the clutch. I'm gonna release my brakes. I have enough air. I'm going to make sure that I have over 100 PSI of air in both my gauges. Now we're going to do the leak down test that I'm in the proper position. I'm going to hold the brake firmly with my right foot. I'm going to make sure that I don't lose more than 4 PSI in 60 seconds and I'll time that with a watch. It'll be 3 PSI for a single vehicle. All right, that's done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna apply steady pressure on and off, stabbing the brake until my air gauge gets down to plus or minus 60 pounds of pressure, which my alarm and indicator should go off at that point. Which it does, the alarm and light have indicated that there's low air pressure. From here, I'm gonna keep fanning the brakes until between 20 and 45 PSI, which my TPV valve should pop out. Which it did, at the appropriate thing. This ends my air brake test and my pre-trip vehicle inspection.